Starting to look pretty good right here. Yeah. You can do one here or one there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And I actually think we got the river close to it. Dude, I'm super happy about this. Super happy. Well, our heroes have found their way. I think so. You might not believe this, but I think I'm actually getting a fire going. I believe it. I know you can do it. Now can I keep it going? Honestly man, right now I'm to the point where just having a fire is fantastic. <laughs> so weird, you look up, it doesn't look dark at all. Yeah. Down where we're at. It suddenly... It's going to be pitch black when it's dark. Oh yeah. Already this beats the last time we were here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except for we got fish last time. Except for we got fish last time and I lost your lure. Oh that's all good. You'll lose another one tomorrow I guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I made a bunch of them. Oh. Gear explosion. <laughs> <laughs> for anybody who's keeping track at home, Bo and I are camping in a rainforest. It's wet. It's not that cold though. We have the weirdest wood possible. We have the weirdest wood possible. It's literally going from wood into coals into cold nothing. Yeah. We had a flame. we had a fire going outside, but it uh the coals just went away and it died on us. I was peeing. We're inside of a, it's, Bo made a hot tent out of a tarp. It's got this little, uh, what's that, paint can? Paint can wood stove. Paint can wood stove. The chimney that goes right outside. It's delightful, so I'll feed a little bit of wood right now into it. Storing wood on top to dry it out because this place is just wet. This is one of the uh, most unforgiving environments I think I've been in. But it is significantly warmer in his little hot tent than it is outside. Bo and I were here, I guess, three or four years ago. Not in this place, somewhere else. I mean, it, probably only a few miles from here, maybe. And, uh,. We lived off old Halloween candy because we couldn't get a fire going that night either. Kind of this running theme with me is not being able to get a damn fire going. This is not the easiest place to do it. No, it's really not. You want some sausage? Yes, I would like some sausage. Thank you. Yeah. I got some um, granola bars too. Yeah. Drift freaking creek. Yeah. Is the whole Oregon coast like this or just here? I. <laughs> I don't know. It might be just here. <laughs> hey folks, so I stopped filming right after that salamander. Some things happened that we weren't 
anticipating that I probably should have filmed, but I didn't. So we camped at a spot where we weren't able to access the river. There was about a hundred foot drop between where we camped and the actual river. So the next morning we woke up and packed up and went to a different spot that him and I are both familiar with. Got there and apparently at some point there had been construction on the road. We drove down about maybe an eighth of a mile. The road was really chewed up. It was really bad. Um, there was a spot about an eighth of a mile in where I just didn't want to go any further. I knew if I went further I was going to get seriously stuck. So we, we had to back out. It was a single lane road. Uh, that's a little wider than my truck. Trying to avoid one of the ruts backing out, I went off the road and got the truck stuck. Uh, within maybe five minutes of being stuck and realizing that we kind of were in a, a crap situation, a car rolled up and it just happened to be a Prius. The Prius wasn't going to go any further than we went. Um, I think it's probably pretty fortunate it actually made it as far as it did. That guy gave Bo a ride back to the Drift Creek Mennonite camp where they, uh, there was somebody, a caretaker there who was able to bring a truck by and get me out of that ditch. <sighs> uh, I got super muddy, my truck got super muddy, Bo got super muddy, my boots, my pants, everything was just muddy. At that point we said uh, we didn't want to do it anymore, the adventure was over, uh, it had lost its thrill at that point. So we went to Spirit Mountain, had some cheap cheeseburgers, and called it a day. Uh, sorry, this did not turn out as well as I had hoped, but you know, misadventures happen, and you got to kind of roll with them. I'm very good at that. All right, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.